Good morning. Hello. Hello, my creative stampers. How are you? Happy Fun Fold Friday. We have rainy weather here in Texas. It's actually dark outside right now. Oh my goodness. How are you all? How's your weather? I'm telling you what, this is some crazy stuff, but it is fall and uh, we are in the heat of it, except for you guys down in Australia. <laughs> I just think that's so cool that y'all are the opposite of us. Um, anyways, uh, I've got a uh, an oldie but goodie for you today, but I'm going to be using some new product that is going to be available on November 1st. So you may have probably seen it if you watch other um, Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Uh, a lot of demonstrators have been uh, making stuff with this new product, but I'll show it to you in just a minute. Good morning, Debbie Spicer and Patty. How are you both? Um, and also I've got birthday cards. So um, let's share. Oh, and a couple thank you cards. Uh, let's share those first. Then I will get started on our fun fold. And of course, don't forget, um, the fun fold is available on my blog. It doesn't always get up there on Fridays. The grandkids are coming over at three o'clock today. We're going to carve pumpkins and decorate uh, sugar cookies. So um, I've written half of it. My goal as soon as this is over is to get it put up. But if it doesn't, I'm sorry. You know, grandkids come first. <laughs> and uh, you all know that very well. All right. Let's get over to some fun cards that you all sent me. First of all, my fairy card maker. I love you, Bobby. You just make the... Your cards are simple, but are just so awesome. I just love them. Check this out. I mean, simple, but look how cute. Oh, my gosh. You just have the gift, Bobby. Thank you so, so much. Love that. Then we've got one from Kim. Now I had to put Kim's back together because watch this. So I open it up and I'm like, oh, look, it's a, um, I, I recognize it right away as a folding uh, screen. Like you put up in your room to hide something behind or to separate a room. Watch this. <laughs> it's like glitter and confetti everywhere. It was so much fun. Thank you so much, Kim. And she wrote me a beautiful note. Look at all that. Sweet. Thank you so much, Kim. I love it. I'm going to keep my little happy birthdays up here. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Next one is from Debbie. Debbie's on my team. She lives a little further north. We are going to on stage together. We got a hotel room. On stage is like 20 minutes from my house this year, <laughs> but we're getting a hotel room because we want to do it right. And we're going to have a lot of fun. But she was saying that in there along with happy birthday. So thank you, Debbie. All right. Next thing, Janet, Janet sent me a thank you card. I want you all to look at this. So um, I love the, this is fond, um, fond bottom. That's it. Um, and she cut it up. She just used the acorn pieces, not the flower parts. But look, she put it on this really cool front. Clever. I love it. Okay. And then she wrote me a beautiful note. And by the way, I love your handwriting, Janet. That reminds me, I had a college uh, suite mate, not a roommate. Uh, we had two college rooms together with a bathroom in between. And she was an architect major. And that's what her handwriting was very similar to. So it's very cool looking. Love it. All right. And this one is from Mallory. Mallory is also on my team. Happy birthday, Mel. Thank you so, so much. Beautiful, beautiful cards. You all are the best. Um, like I said, I can't, I, I get such a joy out of getting cards from you guys. I just, and I know you all love getting cards um, from everyone too. It's just, that's what we do. We make cards, we send them out, we make everybody happy. Okay. All right. So we're doing fitting florets. What is fitting florets? Well, first of all, the, here's the flyer. And I'm going to be uh, mailing this flyer to those of you who put an order in this year, but um, not this year, I'm sorry, this month for October. However, if you didn't put one in, no big deal. I'll have a link to this flyer because this is not in the catalog and it is only available until January. Okay. Well, I take that back. This part up here is in the new catalog. Okay. We have a new catalog coming out in January. This bundle is in the catalog. The Christmas stamp set, the bling, the paper only available till January. Okay, when the new catalog comes out, it won't be available anymore. It's called Fitting Florets, and it's just beautiful. It's a very soft colors uh, with gold and I just don't know. I just, so, I just love it. Okay, so we're doing Fitting Florets. And 
I wanted to show you the paper a little better. Okay, here's the paper a little better. Isn't it pretty? This is, of course, everyone's favorite. Everyone loves gingham. Gingham. This piece is going to get used a lot. But, you know, Stampin' Up! does this awesome, uh, just basic graphics, tone-on-tone -tone type paper on the back. And then on the front, it matches the stamp set that it goes with. So in this case framed florets. So these flowers and stuff all go with this here. And the, of course the frames and the, the dies that cut everything out. So, and of course it's ovals. We don't have any oval dies right now. And so this is oval dies. So if you need oval dies, um, you will definitely want to get this. Okay. But it's not available until November 1st, but I'm showing it to you now. All right. And then this is the Christmas sentiments. So uh, Merry Christmas, fa la la, tis a season to be jolly from our home to yours, from all of us. Noel, may the season be filled with peace and joy and have yourself a merry little Christmas. So very wonderful sentiments. Like I said, only available till January though. All right. Now let's get on with Oh, and okay. Speaking of limited time only. So don't forget uh, four days for joining Stampin' Up! Special where you get uh, $155 worth of product for only $99 in free shipping. Okay. It is an amazing deal. It is an amazing deal. So $56 worth of free product. Okay. Um, but that ends on November 1st. November 1st, you won't be able to get the deal. Also, what's ending right here. If you purchase anything from my shop, you're getting a birthday present from me. It's a uh, mega bundle. It's got 12 tutorials from six different stamp sets. Okay, so. All right, let's get on with this card. So, like I said, it's an oldie but goodie. Here it is. I made it this morning. Are you ready? Dun, da, da, dun. <laughs> it's the triangle fold card. I love this. And it just opens like this. I forgot to put the inside piece in here. I need to still do that. But we're going to make this card. I'm going to change it up a little bit from how I did this one. Not too much though, because so your base, I need to zoom out a bit. Okay. Your base is an eight and a half by 11 sheet and you score it in the cross. Uh, so four and a quarter and five and a half, you score it, but then you cut it and be sure you cut from the top right. And I said that in the instructions on the blog. And then I also have a downloadable of this. Be sure you start in the upper right hand corner because the designer paper. Oh, oh there it is. The designer paper. You need to cut the other direction. You need to cut from the upper left to the bottom. Okay. Um, that way your designer paper stays in the bottom corner here. If you don't do it, it's okay. You just have to figure out how the pieces go together. I mean, they'll go together no matter how you cut it. And of course you can flip the paper over too. So, all right. So that is the base. Pretty simple. Let me put that to the side. And like I said, I've already started. So I have this piece goes here and then this piece went here. So this was my base and I scored it first, then I cut it. Okay. So we're going to be working with this piece. And I'll just put this up in the corner. Let me zoom in a little bit. Whoops. Don't want to rock the boat there. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, forgot to check questions. Wow. I just love it. I look over here and I go, look at all these people, Tony and Tanya and Debbie. And oh, Hilda and Ella, I haven't seen you in a while. Hello. Welcome, welcome. All right. And so many people. I don't see any questions yet. Remember, if you do have a question, put a big Q. Um, I can't remember who it was the other day, put red question marks up, um, emojis. And I was like, whoa, I really caught that. Okay, so here is my thing. Now, this card is from this piece here. Now, you could make this one this way, but I'm not. I'm just turning it, and it's going to be the exact same as this one now. Okay, so I just turn this one over. It's pretty easy. Oh, yeah, I'm leaving that up there. And I need a bone folder, though, because it won't stay down. Okay, so use your bone folder. And um, it's still kind of not staying down very well. There we go. Okay. Our designer paper goes right here. However, notice how, okay, so you, let me pull it up so you can see a little better. Notice how it doesn't actually go all the way to the edge. You can center it if you wish. Okay, you can just center it and have like a little outline. 
But I decided instead, look at this piece here. Okay. I, well, you can't see it because I glued it down, but uh, took a piece of the balmy blue, which matches this and stuck that on the edge. So you have this pretty blue line that goes down the middle. All right. So we're going to do that. Now, when you are putting um, something on a diagonal like this, <clears throat> it needs to be at least seven and a half inches long. Okay. Now I just took the eight and a half and cut off a half inch strip. But if you've got scraps and you want to use the scraps, it's got to be, be at least um, seven and a half. This is uh, four by five and a quarter. Making the hypotenuse, for those of you who are math people, uh, six and a half. Okay. Now you're saying, well, why can't my... Uh, be just six and a half. Well, the problem is you will, if you go six and a half, you will miss out that little piece right there. Okay. So we want to make sure that when you put it on here and we're just going to have about an eighth of an inch showing. Okay. You need to make sure that you, when you cut it, Okay, along the edge there that you have that X, that extra right there. So be sure you have some hanging off the end here and some hanging off the end there. All right. Does that make sense? We good? All right. Let's put some glue on the back of this then and glue this down. And of course, you know me, I like glue because I can, I get, it gives me a little wiggle room before it adheres all the way. Um, and when you're trying to line something up, Actually, let's do this. That's another th nice thing about grid paper. I'm going to turn that around because um, it there's a like a a raised edge where I was cutting it with the cutting machine. Okay, there we go. And now, if I want a quarter inch, I can see there's the quarter inch and there's the quarter inch, and it looks it looks good. Except, whoopsie, I didn't give myself enough room there. Yikes! Come on, don't glue yet. I'm not ready. <laughs> give myself just a little bit more room there. There we go. Okay, that's better. That's better. Now take your snips and just follow the guide of your designer paper there and just cut that off. Okay. And then come over here and kind of line up your scissors. There you go. All right. Now it fits on your card like that. So let's get this card when we're doing. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and open this. And I'm going to be, I, this covers the whole thing, but I don't want glue to squish out. So I'm putting an extremely thin, thin layer of glue, but I like how strong glue is and I don't want this coming up. Okay. Now I just set that in the corner like so. And if it's a little long, which it looks like it's going to be a wee bit long there, that's okay. I'm going to turn it over and I can trim it. Okay. Let's see how much further over. Oh, it wasn't very bad. I mean, it's like a scant, but we do need to trim that. So what we're going to use is the edge of the card as our guide. Okay. Whoops. I'll be careful. Don't cut the card. We're just trimming the blue. Now we could have gone the other way. We could have lined it up along the edge here and then trimmed on the back. And that probably would have been good too, because you can kind of see the card base a little bit there, but it's all good. It's all good. All right. Now when you close it, you have this nice blue line down the middle. Isn't that cool? I love it. All right, next thing. What's the next piece? The next piece is our center piece. Now, what I did here, okay, so this is the piece, and when you run it through the die cut machine, it gives you two pieces. So it gives, whoops, didn't mean to show you the gold. I'm doing gold this time, um, but I still need a white oval in the center. So when you cut it out, it cuts out like this, okay? And I'm just going to put this frame and use it for something else later. So then what I did is I cut the gold one out, okay? 
and I'm going to use the gold frame. But this piece I'm going to use, if you'll notice, I have these gold uh, punches here. I'm going to use this gold for that. So I'm going to put that to the side. It'll be my scrap. All right. The other thing is when you put this together, okay, so we're going to put it together like this and we put it on the card, only get the adhesive up here. Don't get it down here or you will seal your card shut. So just have to be careful. The thing is, it's not connected down here either. So, but that's okay. It, it's all good. Okay. It's all good. And I just noticed these little pieces here didn't pop out. Let's see if I can get those to come out. Oh, and this gold paper. Okay. This gold paper is so awesome. It is actually in our annual catalog, our big catalog. Um, it is rose gold and gold, okay? And it's six by six, um, but the rose gold goes with this paper so beautifully. As soon as I finish getting these little pieces out, come on, we're causing problems here. There we go. Okay, now it's out. Um, where's my pack? Here it is. So you can see it's rose gold and gold. It's in our annual catalog and it's just called gold and rose gold six by six. So, and it look, look how beautiful. I mean, it just uh, it goes with the paper so perfectly. I love it. All right, so we got that, 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 that. All right, now what I want to do, let's go ahead and stamp this while I have it out. And I picked up, this is the Christmas one. The, the what is it? Frames and festive, festive frame. What is it? Framed and festive. May this season be filled with peace and joy. And I'm just using the soft succulent. Okay. Come on, Cap, where are you? There you are. Oh, Melanie. I'm uh, Melanie. Like I said, I'll always call you Melanie. Melanie, you have a kitten that came with you. I love kittens. Oh, my gosh. They're so precious. <laughs> I love kittens. My husband won't let me get it. If y'all saw my Facebook page, my memory on my birthday was my black cat that I have, Merlin. He, um, I'm putting this over to the side a little bit. Um, let me pull this back out for you. See how it kind of fills up that space and I didn't want to cover the words. So I'm pulling it over to the side a bit. All right. So Merlin, uh, my memory picture, when I got Merlin as a birthday present from my best friend, he showed up in her backyard and asked my husband if she could give it to me for my birthday. And he said, yes. And that was, um, 13 years ago. <laughs> He's a big boy now. He's 11 pounds and he's still just as sweet as he was as a kitten. But um, it was so fun having his little video. I mean, he was just a baby. He was six weeks old when I got him. Um, oh, he was so cute. But he's named after the Disney Merlin guy. We were watching that TV series <laughs> when he came. So if y'all haven't seen that, it's a great little TV series. I think you can see it on Disney Plus. I don't know. Oh, I'm noticing more of these little pieces that didn't come out. That is one thing about fine um, cutting, you know, when you're die cutting and it's got a, a intricate design, sometimes the pieces don't always pop out very well. All right. So we've got that. We've got that. Let's go ahead. And so how I'm going to do this, I'm going to lay this down and I know I need glue on this part and on this part. A little bit down here in there. I'm going to take my glue, my liquid glue, but I'm just, I mean, a little bitty bit. You don't want this glue squishing out because it dries sticky. Okay. Now we do have a fine tip. Actually, you know what? That's a good idea. I don't use that very often. Let me get my fine tip glue out. Where are you? Fine tip glue. Huh. Okay. I'm not sure where I put my fine tip glue. It's always right there. Don't you hate that? You put, have a place for everything, but you don't put it back in its place. Darn. Okay, I guess I am going to use this green glue. Okay, but we do have a fine tip glue that dries uh, dry, and but it dries shiny. So if it squishes out, you've got this gloss. So you, it's your choice. You, you can, if it squishes out, you can either have sticky or you can have, um, and sticky if there's enough, if it's easy enough, the sticky you can rub off with the gummy racer. Um all right. But like I said, I am just putting a wee, wee. Am I doing the right side? No. Shoot. Shoot. Okay. Can't talk and stamp at the same time, you guys. <sighs> Hold on. Give me two seconds here. 
Where is okay? I'm looking for my adhesive, my uh, uh what is this thing called? Silicone. <laughs> Silicone. All right, hold on. So I need to be this one up here, and I did that one. So I'm gonna wipe that off, but it is sticky. But what I'm gonna do, if you all haven't seen this trick. Uh, have you all used your embossing buddy? It's got talc powder in it and talc powder will get, you can turn a stick, you can take the stickiness off of a sticker without ruining it. So if you accidentally get, now you don't want to use the talc powder on the front because it'll show white talc powder, but this is the back. Okay. <laughs> and so I just Duck talc powder on that part of my frame. So see, this is why you all watch me do these lives. So you can see how I mess up all the time and have to fix my mistakes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's make sure I don't make the same mistake again. Okay. You can see where the talc kind of got on the gold there. Okay. All right. Okay. So I have glue here and I need glue here. All right. There we go. Okay. I can't talk and stamp at the same time I've decided. It really is not healthy for my cards. <laughs> All right. I think we got that now. Now come here and lay that frame down. Center it as much as possible. Okay. Okay. I noticed a couple more pieces that didn't get out. Come on, you guys, y'all get out of there. It just looks so pretty when all the little holes are open. Okay, now that that's down, oh, I'm starting to get warm. Ah. <laughs> yes, Tony, we all make mistakes. <laughs> that's the fun of this card. All right, now make sure this time I only want it here. Okay, there we go. Got it inside there. Nice. There we go. And that you definitely want liquid glue for this because you kind of have to maneuver it a little bit so it fits in there just perfect. Okay. There we go. Now our frame's on there. Oh, yay. Now you can see the difference already. Isn't that cool? All right. Fun, fun. Now these white pieces here, um, I forgot to punch them out. I punched one out and I forgot the other one. I was got busy, but that's okay. We can cut it out now. Let me get that die. Whee! And of course it goes flying on the floor. Hold on. Oh, do you all have this putty stick? This is great for picking stuff up off the floor. Oh my gosh, everybody needs a putty stick. Okay, now let's go ahead and put this here. Um, this is an intricate die too, and it's difficult to put glue on. However, I did the fitted, I did um, adhesive sheeting here on these. The problem is this had stickiness on it. I'm like, this is, uh, I couldn't have sticky there. So I decided, you know what, I'm just going to do without the adhesive sheet this time. But whenever you have something intricate and you want the whole thing stuck down, the adhesive sheets uh, make it much easier. Okay. Come on, get off there. There we go. There we go. Oh, isn't that pretty? course it has a bunch of I mean it's intricate so it's got all these little pieces or you can leave them in there if you want it leaves interest some people do I like them all out all right got that okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna do this one here okay like that and then we're gonna do the other one but it goes the other way okay let me get those out of there oh they're just not wanting to come out Almost done. Hold on. Okay. Nope. One more. There we go. All right. Now we have this one and this one. 
And actually, I just noticed as I was pulling that off, this did have adhesive sheeting. So I'm going to put this one at the top. If I can get it loose. There we go. Yep, I sure did. Okay, so because it's all sticky, I'm going to put it up here. All right, let's go like that. That works. Okay, so it's stuck on there. But this one does not because I just cut it out. And so we're only going to put glue down here. There we go. And we're just going to cross those pieces over like that. Actually, we're going to turn it in a little bit. There we go. All right, so now we've got that. Now, remember this piece we have, and we need the punch. Please tell me I have my punch. Oh, I bet I put it away. Hot. Come on. It's called the bow punch instead of the sprig. We used to have a sprig punch. Now we have a bow punch. And it also punches out little, um, ro whoops, sorry, little rosebuds. So you get both, but we just want the bow. So, um, Ooh, you know what, though? It's going to cut the rows where I need that bow. So let me cut this thing in half so it doesn't do that. There we go. Okay, got that one. Come on. And then this one. Yay! Okay, so we got that part, and then we're going to put these on here, and we're going to use glue again. And we're just going to lay over the top there. Actually, I'm going to lift it up a little because it had glue, and I didn't want the glue on that. Okay, there we go. And then this one. How are we doing? Every Oh, question. We got a question. The eraser you use is the right thing but it's called an adhesive eraser or rubber cement pickup. A gum eraser is a different thing used for drawing and sketching. Oh, okay. Um, right. So this one is the kind you're talking about. And this one is for the, I think this is the art eraser, the art gum eraser. Yeah, it says gummy racer right there. So you're right. But they both do adhesive. They both pick up adhesive. But you're right. This one's much better for picking up gum. Thanks for clearing that up. Thanks. Um, I do get the two confused. Okay, make sure I do this one right. Yep. There we go. Okay. Now we have that on there. And last but not least, we need some ribbon. Where is my ribbon? Oh, I had a piece cut already from last night. Come on, ribbon, where are you? <laughs> ah, there it is. Okay. I don't know if I really can tie a bow with this little bitty piece, but it was left over and I thought, you know what? I'm going to try because I'm, I don't want to waste ribbon. I love this ribbon. It's so pretty. And they just call it a satin edge ribbon, but it's got gold in it. There we go. Can we do it? It is a little piece, I tell you. I don't know. Just barely got on there. Yep. Okay, that's being a little too frugal. <laughs> Love it. All right, now we've got our bow on there. And so remember, the best way to stick bows on is with glue dots. So just get your glue dots out. Um, I tie a string on mine to keep the wax paper and I just pull it back like that. Then to where I expose a glue dot, see the glue dot there? And then I just put the thing I want stuck. Okay. There. All right. Last thing we need is some bling. Um, you all who ordered from me, I forget which month I sent these out, but this is the red and green adhesive backed um, pearls. And they have this red and green, but the green is like soft succulent or even soft sea foam. But then they have silver and gold also. I think there's enough gold on here. Let's go with some of these green ones. All right. That 
one and two. Oops. And three. There we go. Now we've got it. All right. So we have our two cards. What do you think? So one with a white frame and one with a gold frame. <laughs> Uh, don't forget, um, these measurements are on my blog. Don't forget, you have four days to use this host code to get that free bundle from me, that mega bundle. Uh, there's information on my blog about that also, and also on my email. If you all are subscribers to my email, at the bottom of every email has my birthday um, mega bundle information. So you have four days for that. You have four days to join Stampin' Up! with their great special and um, this flower florette stuff comes out November 1st. All right. You all have a very blessed weekend. I can't wait to see y'all Monday night for something else I've got planned for you. I love my Monday nights now because it gives me an opportunity to do some of the more fun techniques. I'm thinking Monday is going to turn into technique night. But <laughs> but anyways, um, wow. Okay. Just real quick. Any more questions? Yes, Anna, I will have the measurements on the blog. Give me a minute. Half of them are written. I've just got to finish it up. It's 10.02. I should be able to here in the central time zone. I should be able to get it done. Um, all right. That's it. That's all I see. Okay. Love you guys. Bye-bye.